Hi everyone, Ian here at NAB 2012 and we stepped over to the Codex booth to take a look at a new product they're offering. It's called the S Recorder and with me is Laura. Uh, Laura, can you tell us a little bit about the inputs and recording capabilities? Absolutely. Um, the Onboard S um, is capable of recording compressed and uncompressed HD uh, via we have a uh, single link uh, 3G input um, with the option to upgrade to a multi-channel license for two inputs. And what uh, are we recording on? Is it the traditional packs that we have on your other codecs, or what are we using here? Ah, um, the Onboard S is a little special. We are recording onto um, the Onboard S capture drives, uh, which you can see here, very small and lightweight. Um, they come in a uh, 240 capacity and also a 480 capacity. Okay. Now, we have it configured here with a Canon C300, uh, but the idea is that it's not exclusive to this camera. For instance, we could also use it with an F3 and do a dual link out of that as well? Yes, absolutely. It's, um, you can use it with the Sony F3. Um, you could also use it with the Alexa, for instance, if you want to just record you know, regular HD 444. Okay. So once we have our media captured on our cards, uh, let's go and take a look at the different options for offloading our media. So we've taken our media out of the S recorder. And Laura, could you just touch on the virtual file system for us briefly? Absolutely. Um, the virtual file system allows you to go anywhere with your deliverables. Um, you're using the codex native format and you can easily transcode to um, a full range um, which are accepted by various post houses. Um, this also allows you to um, add in the addition of LUTs um, and also burn-ins. And what devices are you offering in order to download our media here? Um, we have a range of devices to download um, the Onboard S, um, including the newest product from Codex, the Vault. Uh, we also have our download stations as well. Um, and these are uh, available to connect to Mac Pro via SaaS. And we are also currently working with Apple to um, create a Thunderbolt download station as well. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.